And what's up guys, Infectizine in here, coming at you guys with my Dragon Ruler Light Sworn deck profile. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the beginning of this video with the duels, this is really inspired by Yu-Gi-Oh! For Real Men if you watch him, and you probably really enjoy Yu-Gi-Oh! if you watch him, because, you know, he probably became manlier. Um, so, this is pretty much my deck, this is my take on it. Um, it could use work, of course, but I do like the outcome. I'm gonna try to keep this short since we already saw the duels, and, you know, I'll just try to explain my reasons for everything. So two Lila, back row popper, only play two, I don't even main deck MST, honestly you push through so much back row in this deck, and you can even OTK turn twos, um, having the two card, and it's a recursion with Lumina, um, it's a level four ba MST basically, you can obviously drop anything for MSTs, it's all player preference, but I would personally side MSTs, um, it's not bad, don't get me wrong, but MSTs is better to side in for the side decade anyways. Um, game 1, you just really want OTK and get a free game 1, basically. So, 2, mill 3 at end phase. Jang, just to beat over things, it's 2100 when, when it attacks. And at the end phase, you mill 2, and it's level 4. Then Garoth is like the boss, so each time a Light Sworn um, activates its effect to mill. Or actually, it's each time a card descends from your deck to the graveyard by the effect of a Light Sworn monster, but, so basically the milling. Um, you mill two with Gareth, and for each Light Sworn you mill, you draw a card. You almost never actually mill a Light Sworn with Gareth, but when you do, it's cool. 1850 beater, and um, adds two mills per everything. I play one Wolf. It's great when you mill it. It sucks when you draw it. It's a kind of a, it's a double-edged sword basically, but it's really good when you actually get to mill it. It's a 21 beater. It's basically when Rykel's like, you know what, fuck it, I'm standing up with my two feet, and he becomes a Wolf. Um, I wouldn't play anything more than two, and if anything, I could see myself dropping one. I already play more than enough targets for JD, and um, I just play them because they're all pretty cool. That's what they do. Now, Aaron, basically, before damage calc, when it attacks a defense position monster, you auto shuffle it to the deck. So, really good against Gear Gears, which is a really popular deck, and just really good in general. And at the end phase, you mill three, 1600, and a warrior. Um, pretty good stuff. Illumina is the best one. It just recently came off the balance. I'm not sure if it was like two balance ago or three balance ago. Um, but you can discard one card to target a level four lower light torn monster and special summon it. So you can go Lumina, discard special Lumina. Lumina, discard special Lumina. Lumina, discard special like Lila, Mill, like a lot in the end phase. Um, really early on in the games, if I can get rolling, I try to go Lumina, bring back something, or Lumina, bring Lumina, bring something else. Because getting what? Lumina mills three at end phase and everything else mills three at end phase except for Wolf and Jane. Um, so you can basically mill like six cards at the end phase, which is really, really powerful and gets your plays rolling. And if you can pretty much resolve that, you're basically winning because you're setting up too much. I play it just a one of Raiko. It's really, everyone looks at, when, they, when you set a card in Light Twins, they know you're playing Raiko. Um, it's good getting it off turn one. You can side this out easily because, again, it's so, it's really slow too. That's another thing. You just set it, waste your normal summon, and basically, um, I don't know. It's cool. I like one of, um, yeah, it's, I, I wouldn't play more than one to be honest. Two card troopers. Mill 3 gets destroyed, draw a card, it's broken, it's busted, yeah. The 3 Dragon Rulers, I don't play Redox, um, I like Tempest more than Redox, but you could take out Tempest for Redox whenever you want, because you have 2 more Earths, I guess, but Redox is a 3k wall, which could be the only difference in those 2. Um, Tempest is 24 though, so you can you can do a lot of pushes with just a 2400, which is, and it makes a big difference. Um, 1 Gores, then we have like all the limited cards right next to each other. Um... Gores is level 7, and he stops OTKs. Every time I draw Gores, I know I'm not going to lose a duel, basically. 
Um, I don't know. I really do enjoy it, and I can't wait for the new lights once to come out the tuners because I will be playing the the two the one that mills two during main phase and two during end phase. I'll definitely be playing that for you know synchro access, but for now we don't have it. So maybe I'll make an updated profile when we get it. Uh, Gores is just good, prevents OTKs, and make sure you don't lose. Honestly, it's really great at making sure you don't lose. Three wyvern whenever it's into grave. Um, by any ways, uh, you banish a level 7 light or dark dragon, so you can banish JD and light rate Diablos. Uh, Judgment Dragon is just a busted ass um, card. You just drop it when you have 4 more light thorns, pay 1000, destroy all cards on the field. You can do it more than once. Sometimes I go Judgment Dragon, pay like 3 times to blow up everything and drop everything for free. Light Ray is a level 7 dragon. You just drop it if you have 5 or more lights with different names. It's pretty easy to get late game. You can banish it with Wyvern to draw it as well. Another good thing about Wyvern is that when you banish it, you know you're not going to mill it. And you can just banish them for for uh, rulers or whatever. Honest is good. It's a win more card, but it's still too needed. Uh, one Wyvern Buster, banish a dark, dra dark monster in your grave, special summon it. When it's destroyed, you add Collapse Serpent. Collapse Serpent, banish a light monster from your graveyard, special summon. And when it's eyes, you get the Wyvern Buster. But Collapse Serpent is, is more... Uh, you run Collapse Serpent at 2 because you can go Wyvern, banish the Wyvern to Special Collapse Serpent and get the Wyvern's effect. Uh, Thunder King Ryo. It's a stun card. I like it. It's really one of my favorite cards of all time. Charge, mill 3, search a Light Sworn. Recharge, discard a Light Sworn, draw 2, then mill 2. A really good when you draw Wolf, just recharge it away. 3 Beckoning Light. It's busted as fuck. Discard your entire hand and add the same number of Light Monsters from your graveyard to your hand. Really stupid. Uh, two breakthrough because you mill, so you can just actually get the effect off more than once. Or if you do happen to mill it, you know, it's not that bad. And then one warning, I think it's the best one of trap you can run. From extra deck, just a bunch of rank threes. Um, nothing too di different. You can run engineer. I don't like it personally. Uh, rank fours, just run rank fours. Um, I run cowboy Excalibur because you run three warriors and 4,000 is too good, especially running over Leo. Sevens, I play Master of Blades because fire is good against Fire Fist. Uh, two Draco Sack and two Big Eye. And then Falgrand is really good actually because if you saw some of my videos, I would um I would make him because knowing that the decks have Scarecrow, I can just Felgrand target itself and since Scarecrow targets the monster, you don't get the effect. But whatever. It's good. And it's the best rank eight in my opinion. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did please leave a like rating and comment down below and subscribe if you haven't seen these at all. And subscribe to see more videos and comment below if you guys enjoyed this type of video and I'll bring more of them coming for sure. Thank you guys so much for watching. Infect the Zenon out. See ya.